Since Taiwan's president Ma Ying-jeou was elected in 2008, Taipei and Beijing have made big strides in boosting economic ties. But now, halfway through his second term, there are concerns the political tide is shifting away from Mr. Ma's Nationalist Party. Unlike past talks carried out by semi-official representatives from both sides, this week's meeting is intended to give the appearance of a breakthrough in relations, says political scientist Joseph Chung. The political risk is that if the Ma Ying-jeou administration ha- handles it well, it may well boost its popularity and help to achieve better results in the important parliamentary and local elections to be held at the very end of this year. And if he fails and if he mishandles the, these meetings and so on, this may become a point of criticism. China considers Taiwan a part of its own territory and has not ruled out the possibility of using force to get Taipei to agree to unification. That position is not popular on the self-ruled democratic island. The meetings in Nanjing this week between top Taiwan-China policy officials are expected to be more symbolic than substantive, but could explore a possible meeting later this year between Ma and China's President Xi Jinping, says Joseph Chung. Chinese leaders would like to achieve some breakthroughs in the remaining years of the Ma Ying-jeou administration. Ma is expected to step down in early 2016. And given the political situation at the moment, it is quite likely that the Democratic Progressive Party, the opposition party, will win the presidential race. China's President Xi Jinping called for political dialogue between the two sides late last year. This week's meeting in Nanjing will be a small window of opportunity to try to address political realities, says Taiwan journalist Wang Mingyi. Facing political realities is a step that has to be taken if you want to overcome more challenges and create more space for development of the relationship. But the fact that the step is being taken does not mean that all the political differences, military and sovereignty issues that have cropped up since 1949 will all just be resolved. These are still very big challenges. The location of this week's talks is itself an acknowledgement of the two sides' difficult past. Nanjing is the former capital of China where the nationalists were defeated by Mao Zedong's communist army and fled to Taiwan. Bill Ide, VOA News, Nanjing.